primitive size E viruses. And giga viruses are also there even when they are calculating the size that is exceeding around 400 nanometers. That is also called as gyrus. Next slide, please. In the next slide, you're going to see about the morphological features of this particular virus. Of course, by this time, everyone will be knowing about the membrane protein, then the structure like a spike protein. Apart from that, it, has, it is having an RNA. Uh, why I am giving this particular sli uh, slide is just you can see the red marked one, which is stating the bar having 10 nanometers. If you are now using this scale, just you calculate the size of virus, it may be around 80 nanometers. So in general, COVID-19 virus, which is causing this particular corona disease, is falling between 60 to 140 nanometer size. It's like this. How this particular virus is replicating? Next slide. In this particular slide, you can see that the entry of virus, next entry of virus into the cell just they reproduce release the rna through replication of course they form the structural protein then coming out in the cytoplasm they are not entering into any nucleus so it is cytoplasmic re uh, replication is happening in this case next slide please don't worry about coronavirus coronaviruses in general they are popularly found to cause common cold uh, the best example is the previous uh, disease, what we recorded, SARS, that is also caused by coronavirus. And they are also found to cause gastroenteritis problem. So it is not new, but this particular virus is isolated by the year 2019 and reported. So they are naming it as COVID-19. Next slide, please. Next slide. In this case, COVID-19, uh, again, there is uh, much controversy whether it has originated or designed or isolated from Wuhan. Because uh, when I, next slide, when I just sent a paper to the publisher, they said, don't mention a word as originate. They asked me to rephrase it as they have isolated the virus from Wuhan. Next slide. Sam, so I need next slide to exhibit. Right. As of date, it has infected nearly 215 countries. Hello? Hello? Right. Thank you. Thank you. Right. Uh, six, uh, 215 countries it has infected. Earlier, it was epidemic in Wuhan. Later, it has spread throughout, throughout the world. Then, by 30th January 2020, WHO has declared this as a pandemic disease. As on date, nearly 6.7 million people have got infected with this particular disease, corona. But so far, there was not much infection reported for any uh, coronavirus in the family coronaviridae. And it has also caused a fatality of 0.4 million as on 5th June 2020 record. So please. Here you can see the prevalence of COVID-19. This was the data by 20th of May. Uh, U.S. found to dominate by 31.48 percentage, followed by Spain, uh, Russia, then Spain, Brazil, UK, Italy. Uh, as per date, India stands six, but the data what I'm presenting here belongs to 20th May 2020. Uh, yesterday we stood at seventh. So today we came on to the position. You can get all this information from boldometerinfographic.com. Uh, right. The disease, COVID-19, is caused by the virus, SARS-CoV-2, but they named it as 2 as it is a novel virus. So SARS-CoV-2 is the disease-causing virus, which causes the disease called as corona. Uh, previously, SARS, MERS, everything belongs to the family coronavirus. What are the symptoms? But by this time, everyone may be knowing. Yesterday, I got shocked to find about a, a report saying that bald people are found to infect more. I don't know what's the research behind it, but uh, as I want to give the information, this is one of the yes. Right. Symptoms include sore throat, dry cough, muscle and joint pain, fever, headache, formation of sputum, shortness in breath, fatigue, 
nausea and vomiting uh, when you are carefully checking these are all the symptoms so always we used to receive whenever we are getting infected with the general virus itself right it, it is inducing fatality that is more uh, prominent why it is so but again if fatality is concerned it is happening with the comorbid patient alone when the patient is immunocompromised with some other thing that is post operative patient or their immune so mortality mostly depends upon the immunocompromised subjects next please the fatality is taken into account france is dominating with nearly more than 15 percentage of people that is infected people dying because of corona this this is followed by italy and uk then spain however in india it was just controlled less than the percentage so that is the beauty of uh, of course it is an advantage for our nation next slide please our uh, next slide speaks about the number of infection per million population what's happening there us in nearly 4748 people in 10 lakh among 10 lakh population got infected but spain dominates with 5963 i think today brazil may be a dominating rather than spain uh, in india uh, also the graph shows 78 people per again the structural details of uh, just the diagrammatic representation of sars cov2 uh, when we are coming on to the shape and size as an aerobiologist as it is a spherical it has maximum ability to be suspended in air then the size is of nano size so again i am confident about it that it, it can easily become a bone like this when i said that it was a uh, air bone but w who has not revealed any details stating that it is airborne or not just uh, i don't know what the dilemma with them but any aerobiologist even when i put the same thing at the indian aerobiologist forum few aerobiologists opposed it then finally they came to the conclusion that yes, it is airborne so it's a general warning for the public as the virus is airborne how careful we need to be next slide please right coming back to india and the position of covid in india how safe we are with, uh, uh, related to indoor air quality is concerned i'm classifying this into three different areas aerosol generation then types of indoor environment in india uh, and then the transport what we use in india these are all the advantages just for india in escaping from the effect of the disease when compared with the rest in this slide you can see that of course he is a well known person uh, he is also uh, famous for his cough just i used his photograph without his permission so sneeze or cough it generates the aerosol in general if the aerosol is of 5 micrometer diameter they can easily be carried on to the atmosphere apart from that if the person is having the infection of covid 19 then if the coughs or sneezes the droplets which are falling on the ground level they get right then the viral particle becomes yabo next slide please the another detail in this case of course you may be happy with this particular slide i feel just think about your current situation present over that uh, next to that person right this is the beauty of india we are distinct when compared with uh, yeah, when compared with all of the country but spitting habit is famous in india 
China and South Korea. They are termed as significant printing nations in the world. Of course, then you might have heard that few of the states have brought in law in our own India that spitting is banned and fine is imposed. So avoid spitting or avoid the people who are spitting next to you. So in India, spitting is a common habit. Of course, if the person is spitting it through saliva or the COVID may come onto the surface, then after drying of phlegm or sputum, then the mucus, the viral becomes yeah, bone. Excellent. Let me come into Indo air quality. <laughs> IAQ in general, it refers to the air quality within and around building structures. Especially, it is speaking with the health and comfort of the occupants of the building. They are also termed as building related in, uh, infection or the virus, thick building syndrome. Uh, we had many cases uh, stating that the building is not of livable condition. So they used to demolish the building. One such building was a very big building in Malaysia that, is, that was a hospital constructed. Then later they found that the quality of that particular hospital was not good. Then they demolished the entire building. So these are all uh, has to be proved, right? As a biologist, what is the IAQ and the biological contaminants found in it? These biological found, uh, contaminants are found in an area which are having too much of moisture of water then you can easily find out what are all the areas associated with damp or moisture cooling coils humidifiers condensate fan even unwinted bathrooms draperies bedding carpet and even dust accumulating areas they can easily absorb moisture and then that promotes the growth of biological organs just think about that they are also a breeding ground for the mind Next slide, please. Inter, inter pollutants are concerned that is biological pollutants, pollen, viruses, mold, bacteria, even pit may release the saliva and the dander, the skin flakes, droppings and body parts of cockroach, other insects and pests, protein molecules. Then yeah. when these things become airborne, it as it can easily be inhaled. Please. Yeah, in this slide, yeah, you're yeah. seeing about the picture of a mall. Or uh, just think about yourself venturing into the mall, then think about the air condition, how you are receiving. Next slide, please. <coughs> what is the air condition status in these malls? They are all circulated as a centralized. Uh, Sam, it has to be. Is there any time limit? No, sir. No, sir. Please proceed. I can proceed with. Sir, proceed. Right. So, in the previous slide, you have seen about the mall. When you are checking with the air handling system, they have air handling units on the terrace of the building. Then, centralized the air control system is there so you may be knowing the previous slide please previous don't go further I want you to go previous slide go back back a little bit yeah right yeah air handling systems you may be knowing why the malls and theaters are not, not allowed to open right now these are all because of the central air handling units which is circulating the air and taking the air in from a single point of source now you just think about the person who is The picture the seats of the theater the ground then apart from that the centralized area handling system where you can easily the age you can easily make the virus spread next slide just it's a representative of picture of a building showing you that the building is yet tight that is they don't have any windows open to the external air so there is no external air transaction taking place uh, in iaq we used to term this as an 
that type of building. So in this particular building, just to think about any biological contaminant, forget about COVID-19, any biological contaminant, if it is present, they can easily be circulated for all signaling this particular biological contaminant. So a person infected with COVID-19, if he sneezes or coughs in this building, Thing that can easily be circulated within this cat type building. So, indoor air quality plays a major role in the spread of COVID 19. So, take this as an information. So, whenever you are visiting such characterized building, be careful and uh, maintain maximum uh, prevention measures. Next slide, please. This so is just to show you that we have studied the buildings in Singapore uh, around. 65 building samples we have studied, and in that we have identified the contaminants as air handling unit, carpet, then upholsteries as the major contaminant which are contributing the airborne microbes. So whenever these upholsteries and air handling units are, and all other carpet dust, when they are disturbed, the microbes present in these areas come into the air and making the people to inhale those biological contaminants. This is the same in case of virus too. Next slide, please. Just a couple of slides stating how you can monitor this particular virus. Uh, forget about the tape sample or a slide sample, what I'm showing, that is not relevant to sampling the virus. Whereas the first one, swab, swab can be used to monitor the surface contaminant of the virus. What you are supposed to do is just you mark the area, then using a swab, you take the sample, place it in a buffer. This buffer can be transported to the laboratory through PCR technique, just you pass on a building up the RNA sequence. Finally, you can identify whether the COVID is there or not. Uh, rather than this one, the sub sample, if you want to monitor the air, of course, Marina Labs is the biggest one uh, related to aerobiology is concerned in India. We have many different uh, sort of samplers. Uh, here I'm showing just a sample of uh, a sample which can easily be used widely for monitoring the wide. What you're seeing is the second picture shows you about a glass impinger. Uh, of course, this particular photograph is the imported one, but even with the local glass, which charge you around 4,000 or 5,000 to get a simple unit. Using a suction pump, you can easily collect the air sample. So flow rate will be there in the suction pump. Whatever the desired flow rate, you fix it. Then in this particular impinger, you use the buffer for the isolation of virus. So this virus will get into the virus, sorry, buffer. This buffer can be taken for sequencing. Finally, you can identify the virus. Next slide, please. Next slide. Right. Here, just you can see, uh, it's an apartment, interior of an apartment. Uh, in Western countries, mostly, the apartment are having a single air handling unit. And then the air is circulated to each apartment to centralize the system. So if, if any resident in that particular apartment is having infected with uh, COVID-19, if he sneezes or cough, then the aerosol generated by him can be circulated to all apartment dwellers. So that is the problem in other countries, that is mostly in Western countries. So the spread of the disease is very easy for those countries whereas in india we have a beautiful system having a single isolated air condition system for every room like that so this is the benefit for india where the spread of the virus is contained to the maximum so even in residential apartments our indoor air quality system is saving us from the spread of the covid 19. next slide coming towards the transport mostly in west in countries, you can see either the bus or uh, whatever the mode of transport, they are always the air conditioned. Uh, that is with the closed uh, windows. Why it is so? Just think about the people traveling in open window at four degrees centigrade. Is that possible? So it's not possible for them. So they are always keeping the transport system as a closed one where they never allow the external air to enter. Uh, this is an advantage for us using such system, which is with uh, having a open window system. Next slide, please. The next slide, you are seeing the trains, even the trains are closed and the interior of the train where you can see that the air is 
circulated within the train using the centralized yard system. So even a person, the traveler, having infected with COVID, then if he is generating the aerosol, this can spread to all the people present in that particular train. So now you may recall why metro trains are not allowed to fly right now in India. So metro train is more or less similar to the same. So structurally, they are switching off uh, operation of metro for, for the time being. Next slide, please. And we have also studied uh, about the indoor air microflora in air conditioned buses. What happened over there? We isolated nearly 69 species of fungi, uh, but the bus is considered as the microclimatic environment. So my uh, advice is don't use air conditioned mode of transport for the time being. Either it's a bus or train avoid traveling through air conditioned system because that is a
in indoors when it is having an impact on airborne bacteria i am damn sure that this will have an impact on airborne covid 19 too the next slide sorry next uh, chart speaks about the fungal and its other impact of heavens on the fungal spores 6 o'clock 6:30 7 by 7 you can see even it is 8:30 only by 8:30 there is a slight reduction continue up to 9 then by 9:30 there is no difference 11:30 3:30 and 9:30 uh, by evening there is no difference towards fungi is concerned it is having a very light impact what i feel is just i want to throw you few principle and the experiments behind it how favorable it is for you to contain the covid 19 the yabon covid 19 next slide please we have monitored the smoke generated by few common plants here i am not naming the any plant because just this is unpublished data again you can see the same photography of the soups what we have collected from different plants they are showing the size of 50 nanometer to 200 nanometer size next slide this speaks about the dynamic light scattering particle size analyzer and the size of the particles you can, you can see the peak range recorded from 200 to 600 nanometer size range of nanoparticles the second peak was registered by 800 to 1600 nanometer size next slide this is the fdr of the same soup particles i want to know about whether this possesses any chemicals associated with the nanoparticles of carbon then we are able to record nearly 30 peaks of that of course 22 are significant among 22 peaks when we are getting into the fdr interpretation we may end up with mostly of organic uh, compounds associated with this suit next slide so i am proposing the diagrammatic model model of these suits how they may look like you may be already knowing about the nano dots with four four then then uh, uh nano dots with associated with chem chemicals and then the fully rain like structures these are all the advantage for me to com combat the airborne covid next slide please yeah, in this case just i am taking a fully rain particle then next to that i am showing you the particle size of viruses so as fully rains are having plenty of cavity and then the surface or uh, area they, they can easily absorb the airborne any particle here i am taking covid 19 as virus as one of the particle which is airborne so it can easily be contained using this fullerene like structures next slide so this is the second principle what i am speaking about uh, these are all physical elimination of covid-19 so you can see that covid-19 particles suspended in atmosphere the carbon dots which are again suspended generated using a uh, haven or any smoke they are coalescing as a group to form associated with the covid and they can easily easily collect them and bring them to the surface rather than suspending it in atmosphere so this is the second principle what i am speaking about next slide the third principle what is the advantages that is the nano dots having associated with the chemical compounds these chemical compounds will have its impact on either spike protein or the or the wall protein of the virus sometime they may also the wall layer of covid they can also impart a change in rna thus destroying this particular virus so these are all i haven't studied this experimentally but my proposed theory is all these things how you can easily get rid of the air covid 19 next slide please uh, i feel that uh, i have given you few idea about how covid 19 can become airborne how you can prevent exposure to airborne covid 19 then apart from that how you can clear your own indoor air quality of your residences just do uh, you may be knowing about just doing an sambrani or something in our hindu ritual we always used to do with our uh, most on fridays or tuesdays we used to give apply sambrani to have uh, so that can clear off the airborne particles so i feel that even the proposed theory will also support that so with that i am signing off now uh, if is there is any question sam over to sam sam hello sir 
Yeah. Sir, thanks for the presentation. Okay, thank you, thank you. Is there a second? Uh, let me check. Getting back to you, sir, regarding the question. Uh, if there is an uh, no Sir, can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. Sir, a uh, question was arised by Jayapri. Huh. How long the virus will be uh, uh, staying alive in the air? Yeah, the proposed... Uh, uh, actually, the people have conducted a study in Wuhan. They say okay. that the virus is uh, up to six hours time. Okay, sir. But again, uh, plenty of details has to be carried. There is no strong okay. research so far so that has to be studied further okay uh, sir, another question yep um how far this airborne uh, virus assessment will helpful for us to know about the environmental situation till the virus process and we have till we have the government records no, the go. Apart from that, also, I feel that the research related to COVID-19 will be continuing because the scientists don't want to take other chance. Maybe after two years or three years, some other new virus may come. So before that, we are supposed to get ready with the facing such new, uh, new, new novel viruses. So the research will be continuing on this particular area. Question arises by Divya. Uh, Is it safe to? travel by air in this period not recommended not recommended right okay 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 sir another question raised by mr dharma rajan right uh, is it uh, transmit i mean whether the virus has been transmitted by animals to human beings mm, so far there is no report but uh, in my opinion this average is it in a, in a paper the question related to whenever the house fly or the cockroach is feeding on the sputum or the aerosol then is there is any chance of them transmitting i feel that even these insects will play a role in transmitting the virus uh, sir another question right 
answered by Mr. Jayapriyan. Why? Uh, if you propose that uh, the carbon nanoparticles trapping the virus, hmm. then what is the fate of carbon particle in the air? It is furthermore may provoke air pollution. Yeah, for the time being, when compared with the viral infection, this particular pollution can be uh, withstandable, I feel. Uh, further, even when you are inhaling, your system will take care of uh, carbon and ion nanoparticles are already used in incorporating uh, the medical uh, stuff, uh, even in medical treatment as they are non-toxic. Okay, sir, another question. Uh, uh, what is the hindrance in finding a vaccine against coronavirus? Yeah, you may be knowing that uh, as it is a single standard RNA, they have plenty of mutation chances. Even a slight point mutation can make them to alter the size. So finding about the specific sequence and then finding about a specific vaccine is very difficult. And even many scientists are facing this as a problem. Also, one in Institute may claim that I, we have found that then from Israel they stated that their vaccine is not up to the mark like that uh, due to the transaction happening in uh, the genetical system of the virus it is difficult for, for them to come out with. Okay, sir, another question. Right. Uh, by Selva Deepa, um, is there any connectivity between COVID-19 in spread and uh, particular blood group? And they said uh, the group A is effect, uh, uh, highly affected, but I'm not sure uh, uh, that has to be studied further. Yeah, uh, plenty of people may bring in such a, I don't call it a silly type of research, but it is also a type of input. Uh, as I previously said, that bald people are prone to the infection of COVID-19 more when compared with we are supposed to wait for more research then we can finally say yes it is so this is not the right stage to say so it has any impact related with the blood group this concern okay uh, sir uh, the last question all right from mr dharmarajan singh Garavelu. Uh, some countries are saying that we have identified right. the vaccine or uh, uh, it is in, in the, I mean, the vaccine is in under clinical trial. When the country or the government is claiming, we cannot oppose uh, in general as such because uh, they may have the vaccine for the reports are coming that uh, different strains of virus exist. So we cannot uh, directly counterpart them saying that your vaccine is not of use or something like We need to wait and watch till whether the vaccine is universally approved that is a possible throat. Thank you, sir. Uh, uh, right, one more last question, sir. From Mr. Subhas Sumkwar. How ethnomedicine benefits mm -hmm. to cure COVID-19? Uh, the state of Tamil Nadu is concerned. We are having a Kabasuram uh, one of the medicine proposed by the system of Siddha. So they're all ethnopharmaceutical stuff. Apart from that, India is blessed with that system. We have our own uh, traditional system of medicine like Ayurveda, Siddha, as well as Yunani. Uh, plenty of people are also using it. And if you are carefully checking, nearly 12 to 13 different types of plants are having antiviral property, including your neem and cumin, oh, sorry, yeah, come in those things. So usage of ethno-pharmaceutical medicine, that is also important. Uh, the problem is we don't have the proper scientific record for that. Otherwise... Okay. Uh, sir, I think uh, we come to an end. Right. Uh, thanks, sir. Uh, a question right. from Deepa Ali. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Sir, before uh, what of please, please. Uh, it's true the name of the vaccine is BNT16. Hmm. 
and the vaccine is not fully success right uh, if it is success why they have i mean they have not launched the vaccine to the public they need to study further uh, even uh, giving an vaccine itself prompt uh, the disease so they, they need to study further later finally they may release of course you may be knowing to bring in a vaccine it may take uh, in general we used to say in science it will take 20 years for a drug to be developed like that but due to emergency we are working very fast and all of a sudden you cannot release it they need to uh, study about the safety measures of the vaccine finally they'll say yes you can proceed with sir uh, thanks for your uh, patient answer thank you sir so should we proceed for what up thanks yeah please uh okay let me take this opportunity to propose the formal vote of thanks uh first i wish to thank our uh, college management and our beloved principal dr c ashok for offering all the infrastructural facilities to organize this webinar on um the needy hour next i wish to thank uh, uh, dr nk vijay prakash um ceo consulting director of uh, marina labs uh, who have greatly accepted our invitation and uh, uh, presented a wonderful topic during this pandemic situation sir uh, as the member of this institution i take this opportunity to thank you sir thank you. Thank you very much for accepting our invitation, and it's my privilege to thank uh, the technical support extended Department of Visual Communication of Fayanada Janaki Amal College. Uh, he's uh, like uh, the backbone of the technical support. He extended his help to the great extent. Thank you, Mr. Vingreesh, sir, and my sincere thanks to. Professor Lawrence, Director of MCA Department, who accepted and uh, permit me to use the infrastructural facilities of MCA Laboratory. Thank you very much, Dr. Lawrence. Sir. My sincere thanks to the Computer Administrator who extended his support uh, towards establishing the Zoom connection. Thank you very much, sir. Last but not uh, the least, I extend my sincere thanks to all the participants. because without you the program would not be a successful one and uh, i could see a lot of uh, questions in the chat box the questions will be answered through the mail after uh, getting uh, the correct answer from the resource person uh, thank you very much for your patient listening and uh, we are sorry for the technical uh, uh, faults arising during the commencement of the program and uh, thanks uh, once again so yeah, should yeah, we wind up thanks for all the participants thank you all thank you sam thank you one thank you thank you thank you to all the participants feedback link will be shared in the chat box you can use the link uh, added an attendance code will also be shared by the technical team it is very important once to insert the technical uh, attendance code in the proper place your feedback form will be accepted be patient for 7 to 10 days because it will take uh, nearly a week for you to receive your e certificate of participation thank you very much thanks yeah,